Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this super bright, bold and colorful hot crease makeup look for you guys. So yeah, if you're interested to see how I created this makeup look, then keep on watching. So first of all, you want to get all of that hair out of the way and I'm totally obsessing over my Velcro hair grip. Next, I'm taking the Nutriderm Moisturizing Lotion. This is the Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. I'm actually really enjoying using this underneath my makeup. Since it has vitamin E in it, it feels absolutely moisturizing and nourishing on the skin. But it feels very light at the same time. Like the minute I apply it, it absorbs instantly and it leaves my skin feeling really really um, hydrated very moisturized but in a very light manner so if you have normal to oily skin you are going to love this and somehow I also feel my makeup sticks to this a lot more better it goes on much more smoother on top of this uh, next up I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip brow pomade in the shade ebony and taking a flat angled brush I'm just going to carve out my brows and as you can see doing a brows makes such a huge difference to any look so yeah next it's time for some eyeshadow primer and I'm taking my eyeshadow base by Sigma this product is super pigmented and the color is so awesome it works out really really well for me it really helps to keep my eyeshadow in place and it also covers up any pigmentation on my eyelids as you can see now for eyeshadow i'm using the huda beauty electric obsessions palette first i'm taking this light orange shade on a tapered blending brush and I'm just going to blend that out over my crease area and just mudge it out give it a very very soft look next I'm taking this super hot reddish pink shade and with a flat eyeshadow brush I'm going to carefully carve out my crease area and then building on the intensity you really want the crease color to be super intense while doing a cut crease look now taking the previous brush i'm just going to blend out the edges so that there are no harsh lines between the hot pink shadow and the orange shadow on top we want a very very smooth and blended out look then taking my sigma eyeshadow base i'm going to take a very small flat brush and carefully carve out my crease area like that and because I have hooded eyes, I look straight into the mirror and then carve it on top of my lid so that even when I open my eyes, the crease is still visible. And then taking a makeup wipe, I'm just going to clean out my lid area because I don't want too many layers of product in there. I have hooded eyes, so the eyeshadows might crease later. So once it's clean, I just take the eyeshadow primer again. Next, taking this dark teal green shade, I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner as well as to the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm just going to pack it on till I am happy with the intensity. And I'm slightly winging out the eyeshadow on the outer corners. Next, for the center of the halo, I'm going to take my Inglot's Duraline Fluid. This is basically a mixing medium. So it's kind of like a sticky liquid which allows shimmer shadows and glitters to really stick to your lids and it also kind of intensifies any eyeshadow so absolutely love it I'm applying it to the center of my eyes first applying the liquid and then applying this beautiful shimmer teal color over it just make sure to blend out the edges again you don't want any harsh lines all right next i'm taking my current favorite lashes this is the double up lashes by ardell in the number 206 and it gives a really pretty cluttered lash effect and then taking my gel liner in a very very tiny brush i'm just covering up the lash band for foundation, I'm taking the Huda Beauty 4 filter and the Revlon Insta Filter foundation. Now, uh, the Huda one is slightly darker on my skin, whereas the Revlon one is slightly lighter. So I quite enjoy mixing two of these together. And as you can see, the Insta Filter foundation is super light for me. So I also use this as a highlighter. So here I'm using it under my eyes, on the center of my forehead, on the bridge of my nose and on my chin area as well. Next, taking the Huda Easy Bake Powder, I'm just going to dust that lightly all over my face. And after that, I'm going to take a dry sponge and bake my under eye area. For bronzing up my face, I'm using my current favorite Hula Bronzer by Benefit. 
and applying it to the hollows of my cheeks, to my temple area and also along my jawline. And I'm also contouring the sides of my nose by pinching my brush. So yeah, I'm just making two parallel lines on the sides of my nose and blending that out. Now to finish up the eyes, I am doing the same thing that I did on my upper lids to my lower lids as well. So first of all, I am blending out the pink shadow. Then I'm applying the dark green teal shade very close to my lash line. Lastly, adding this beautiful bright yellow shade to the inner corners of my eyes to give my eyes that really bright pop of color. And then I also went ahead and added some mascara to my upper and lower lashes. Next for blush, I'm using this beautiful Barbie Pink Blush by NYX. And then taking my Lit Life Highlighter Palette by NYX again, I am using that on all the high points of my cheeks. It's a very, very beautiful candle lit sort of a highlighter. Absolutely love it. And then for my lips, again, I'm using three of NYX's products. First of all, I'm taking their Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Cool Intentions. Then I'm taking the Rose Brown Lip Liner and perfecting the outline of my lips like that. Lastly, to give that really nice ombre effect to my lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Silk Indulgent. And I'm going to use that only on the center of my lips and blend it out with the outer color. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please don't forget to share this video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.